So welcome to Sword of the Stars of the Pit, Gold Edition. Uh, I recently picked up uh, the Sword of the Stars of the Pit Gold Edition as well as Mind Games, and I thought, you know, I might as well do a video on it and just check out what the uh, the new characters are. Uh, Sword of the Stars Mind Games is, I think, 5 or $7, I can't remember which one, and uh, it comes with one character, and he's like this psychic character of Doom. And uh, Sword of the Stars Gold comes with four characters, but the thing is, and it's Sword of the Stars Gold is I think three dollars. And uh, but the issue that I have with it is that in order to play Sword of the Stars the Pit Gold Edition, you have to buy the Mind Games DLC first. I don't like. I wish that wasn't a thing, but still, you know, I guess maybe there's some content in there that is reliant on Mind Games or something. But I don't know, I just want to check out, so sort of start in a new game. I'm going to be playing on normal. I, I think they also added seriously as a new difficulty mode. Game speed, they also made it so that, um, it, like, shorter games. So this brings it down, skips even numbered floors, and reduces the number of rooms per floor, plus 10 XP, plus 50. So I, I assume fast is, like, ridiculously short. Uh, and quick is just shorter. I'm going to be playing on normal with the normal amount. So you have the marine, which is default in the original game. Engineer, original game, also default. And scout, original default. So these three characters comes with Sword of the Stars of the Pit. Uh, they're just like the normal characters. This is my favorite of the original three characters. But then in mind games, you get this guy, the Scion. And, uh, apparently he has, he's, like, specialized in psychic stuff and stuff like that. And then Sword of the Stars Gold comes with the Ranger, the Warrior, the Seeker, and the Striker. And those four come with gold. And apparently they're, like, alien things. And I saw in the screenshot of Sword of the Stars Gold DLC, a uh, Steam store page, that there's, like, an outside type of environment in the uh the gold characters but i want to check out the scion and uh just record my first run through of the of of my game through it but he's bald and scions are men and women who are specially trained to use the powers of the mind they are chosen for power intelligence sensitivity louis ling is a military scion assigned by soul force to track down and recover the missing scientist tamiko hoshinara who is believed to possess unusual abilities by the highest command. Hmm. So he's a stealth unit? A vibro laser pistol. That looks in that sounds interesting. So let's uh let's let's check this guy out. Let's do a run through with him. And ooh. There's an outside environment, just like I was saying before. A new outside environment. Uh the sign was this here before? I don't think this was here before. Before uh this change. And I notice a new, a new bar down here. You have the life bar, the food bar, and psi points now. Apparently, it's probably only with this class, or I, I would assume so. Uh, I don't know what that is, so I'm gonna hit I, go into my inventory, and here's a stealth suit. How do I use this? Can I use it to like stealth up or something? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna sort out my inventory. I notice that my inventory is smaller, unfortunately. I'm going to put these in the regular hotkey spots. I assume the laser pistol takes, pistol takes energy cells. Got some food, bandages, med pack, grenade, uh, KO grenade, knockout grenade? Does Maybe that just likes makes enemies go unconscious. And EMP grenades. And this damages robots, as you can probably figure out. So I'm going to put that in that hotbar. And we're at the pit entrance. All right, so I need to re remember how to play this game. Oh, I'm I'm wading through the snow. Can I? What can I, can I search anything? I can shake the tree. Oh, what is that thing? A wall crawler. That's not good. I'm gonna shoot it. Pow. It's probably an easy to kill creature. I'm gonna shake it again. Got another one. Oh, I missed. He's a silver mirror, apparently. 
Oh, and I leveled up. So now we have a penile gland. That's interesting. I can't shake the tree anymore, unfortunately. Uh, I'm gonna level up, check out what this is. So there's Might, Finesse, and Brains. Those are the three original stats, like main stats. But now I see they have Power. I'm gonna put a point into Might, because that's the thing he's lowest into. And then I'm gonna put one into Finesse. So let's, let's check out what the, if there's any new skills. Spear, that's a new one, I think. I'm pretty sure. Uh, empathy, tele telekinetics, war mind, redaction, manifestation, mecha empathy, and resistance. I'm going to put one into manifestation because that sounds awesome. Uh, telekinesis. Everybody likes telekinesis. Resistance. And lockpick. Mechanical. Oh, I can't do that anymore. Uh, pistol, blade, empathy. I'm gonna want a war mind. That's pretty good. And let's, there's a giant rock. Uh, I can't do anything with the icicles. I already tried that. Um. Huh. It's very cold, isn't it? Can you do anything with these trees? No, I can't. I'm gonna check the. Oh, here it is, psionics. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, psion abilities. Empathy abilities. Tele oh, okay, I see. So that's the, uh, that's like the, the row. So this is empathy abilities. Life sense. What does a life sense do? I don't know. Uh, tele telekinesis. Manipulation and TK fist. War mind has berserker. Redaction is heal? Yeah, heal. I'm gonna put this... Can I put this in here? Oh, I can. Awesome. I'm gonna put that at 7. Why not? Uh, manifestation. Mana. Me, I assume this lets me summon a piece of food? Maybe? I need to get my manifestation skill up. That would be amazing. Mecha Empathy. Mecha Sense. Don't know what that does. This probably lets me just... Yeah, shut down. Lets me shut down one. Sub... Sur, subvert. I can probably control one. I wonder what the puppet. That's probably the same thing, except for humans and not mecha. Uh, resistance, psi shield, and psi armor. I'm gonna put psi armor in my sixth slot. TK, TK fist in my fifth. Ah, uh, and life sense right there. Now let's just throw manipulation in nine. So then we have these. No target. And just use Psy Armor, and that put a bubble around me. Heal. Life Sense. Oh, it is all in your mind. I just upgraded my, uh... I just upgraded a skill that I think it cost for food. Manipulation. No target. I think we have to find our way down into the pit. Let me shake this tree. And it spawned the Zul Infant Swarm. And shoot it. If I get another enemy... Uh, oh, okay, I didn't. I got a Nova Fruit. What is this giant crack? I don't know. I need to find the entrance to the pit. Where can it be? I've already explored down that way. I have no idea what I'm looking for, by the way. I've never, um... I've never played... Oh, there it is. I assume this is the entrance. Yes, it is. What is that thing? A snow rabbit. I thought it was a leperoid. Uh, manipulation on that thing. Manipulate. Oh, crap, it's running. Shoot it! I missed. Ice bat. It's a rock bat. Oh no, an ice bat. Alright. Ruined crate. Search this rot pile. Now we're getting into stuff that I'm familiar with. Like this. Oh, come on. I need to try to use this TK fist. Oh, Jesus. I just punched him with my mind. Who else can say that? Uh, life sense. Oh, I see. It lets me, uh, see where the enemies are. 
That's interesting. Yep. Knew it. There's a guy there as well. Oh, it lets me do it. Is that for a short amount of time, or... I'm not sure. Let me punch him. That's awesome. I wonder if my... I need to make sure I don't use up all my side points. I don't know if I actually get them back one per turn. Uh, I don't know. Maybe moving around. Maybe killing stuff gets you back side points. Oh, never mind. I think it's every turn you get five. Or I could be wrong. Yeah, I don't. I have no idea. Let me kill these things off. Oh, it's a snow rabbit. I missed. I missed. There, I hit it. Oh, raw meat. Awesome. Those things are worth killing then. I need to check my inventory. Yeah, I don't like having a cluttered inventory. God, these icons are huge. They're just, uh, they're just, yeah. This inventory is tiny compared to the other ones. An oversized neural gland from an alien creature. Hold on. Uh. Oh. There's an enemy around. I'll use life sense. No, that's eye yeah. armor. Damn it. Life sense. There we go. Oh, and it takes a turn as well to, uh, to use it and punch him with, with my mind. It's amazing. Punching things with your mind. Oh, I didn't mean to hit, hit him. I meant to hit this guy. There we go. Yeah, this is, this is pretty awesome. I just wish the, the base game came with more characters instead of just three, where the Marine, as most of you probably know, the Marine is centralized around combat. He's combat focused. The Engineer is basically the complete opposite, and he is terrible at combat, but he's good at opening stuff and using doors and accessing terminals and all that. And then the Scout is basically the middle ground, the uh, all right at opening doors and killing people. So I just... Ah, uh, thing blew up. And my items got damaged. That's fantastic. Nothing found. But yeah, the scout's good at opening stuff and killing things. Nothing found. Man, this guy. He's not very good at, um... At doing either. He's like the opposite of the scout, except... Oh, is that rabbit following me? I killed it. Well, now I feel bad. Damn it. Rotten cheese. Let me search this rot pile. Got some kirch grubs? Never heard of these. Small protein rich dirt grubs raised as delicate sea by Hiver. Uh, loved by Tarka and Morgi. Mostly held in disgust by humans. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we can eat them though for 20 food. That's. Oh, we can eat raw meat for food? I don't know if you were able to do that before in the base game. Though I could be wrong, so... Meow. Oh, I'm gonna punch him with my mind. There we go. Don't want to get diseased. That would be terrible. I just like that you can punch shit with your mind. It's fantastic. Um, I want to level up again and increase my manifestation. Wait a second, these rooms have names that appear here now? That's cool. Rat nest. What's this? A grotto. Another grotto. Hold on. Uh, a crowbar? Wait a second. Gordon Freeman. Holy crap. That's amazing. Um, I'll just put this here. No, I want to move my pistol. Whoop. And put the crowbar there, and is it better? Let me equip this. It hurt. I mean, it has more dis uh, durability. It hurts a little bit more. And by a little bit, I mean almost, well, yeah, a lot more. Uh, accuracy is less. Penetration is less in the reload time. Doesn't have any since it's not a vibro braid. Blade. 
Let me remove that, put that down in number four, and put that on number one. I'd rather use this, as it doesn't take ammo. Especially in the lower levels. Oh, that's not good. Kill that. Miss. Get that. There we go. It is a necessary evil. I mean, these things are trying to kill me, of course. Nothing found. Nothing found, and... We found something, a food pellet. Which I'm gonna eat that right now, actually. Eat. I'm gonna eat my soul force rations. And that looks good. It's looking good. My inventory is gonna fill up quite fast, unfortunately. Which is not good. Um, let me go down here and advance to the next floor. I like that you start out above, like, f above the, uh, above the pit. It makes you feel more like you're exploring. It, it, for me at least, it gets me more immersed in the experience. Which I don't know exactly how immersed you can get in a top-down thing like this, but... I don't know. Hopefully I can open this door. Oh, no. Come on. Yes. Thank God. Well, do you want to get punched with your mind? Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Exactly. What the hell is that thing? A stinger? Oh, no. I punched him with my mind. No, I don't have anything. Manipulation. Manip. Manipulate. Wait, what does manipulation even do? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, let me activate Psy Armor. And then punch him with my mind. <laughs> and I leveled up. So I'm gonna level up. I wonder if that... Does that give me all my... Ah, cool. Okay, leveling up restores my side points. I need to remember that. I'm gonna increase power and might. I feel like that's what I'm gonna do for a while. <clears throat> um, telekinesis. That's good. Lockpick. Mechanical. And what's the last thing I should upgrade? I'm gonna upgrade blade. Since I have my crowbar. Can I not activate this? Oh, it's recharging. Alright. I'm gonna hit this with my crowbar. And my shield is protecting me, which is the point of the shield. So, better do that. I'm gonna heal myself. It is all in your mind. Awesome. I don't- I wonder how much that heals me for. Oh, a rat. Did they- I think they also changed the, uh, the door texture. I could be completely wrong on that, but to me it looks a little more polished. And a little more high definition. Oh my god. Oh, I love punching things with my mind. I'm gonna check out psionics real quick and see if I unlocked anything else. No, it doesn't appear I have. But at level 55, I get deflect. That probably lets me reflect things or just deflect. Uh, I'm not sure. I think manipulation... What does that do? Does that... I, I wish they would tell you what these things do. Like, if you right-clicked on them and you clicked more info, like, they should have a, a little thing here saying... Like, a little tab for more info. Uh, oh. Well then, look at that. Manipulation. The power to interact with devices, doors, and traps at a distance. I see. That's what I assumed. I thought it, just for a bit, I thought it was, uh, it was something that you could, like, manipulate enemies into doing your bidding, which would be awesome. A uh, powerful TK thrust that hits hard and can shove an enemy back. The ability to sense presence of living th things, yes. Uh, heal... The manifest nutritious protein bread. Yes, exactly. I, I thought it was since bread is there. Let me look at the manifestation abilities real quick. Mecha, redaction, manifestation. Fire, the ability to release psionic energy in a storm of cone of flame. Dissolve, the power to break links between molecules and disrupt the integrity of a large solid object like devices or doors. That's pretty awesome. Uh, duplication. Ooh. To cr the power to create a duplicate of another item. 
The process is dangerous and could destroy the original object, though. That's that's a pretty awesome ability. Uh, shrapnel storm. Side drain, glamour. The power to make living minds see the user as an ally. Huh. So I don't know. I think I'm just gonna mainly try to... Oh god, a shadow bat. That thing's terrifying. Uh, I'm gonna shoot it. Oh, I don't have any ammo left in my gun. Oh. Negative 17 psi. This thing actually hurts my psi? Huh. What a jerk. Oh! Oh, never mind. That's, uh, that's... I think that's because my shield actually blocked the... the damage, but I could be wrong on that. Kill that. Get the food. Good. I'm glad that thing didn't poison me. Open this door. I wonder if they added new door traps as well. Because before they had, like, healing damage... Oh my god, my crowbar helps me open this up. That's so awesome. Oh, I wonder if that hurts durability. Oh, that's amazing. Um, as I was saying, um, they had... I think it was healing... A door that heals you. A door that damages you. A door that destroys an item. Uh, recharges an item of yours. Uh, and other... Some other things that I can't remember. And... It was made so that every single run-through, they were all assigned to a random different color. And they were put on doors, like where you'd see the helmet here. There would be, uh, like a, a... Basically a diamond with a color in it. And if you went through it, then it would do one of the effects that I mentioned before. And it was completely random every playthrough. Not inspiring. And, uh, well, you just had to test and try, I think. Let's see if I can get this door. I can't, damn it. Alright, uh, my crowbar helps with this as well, because crowbars are amazing. And, I hate you crowbars, you screwed me. I'm going to try to manipulate this thing. Where is it? Here it is. It is all in your mind. Damn, lock disabled. I think you can hear my f I think my, uh, my family is back from picking up my nieces. Ooh, I'm glad I avoided that thing. Wax on, wax off. Pop, there we go. Doo -doo. Yeah, I might have to go out there and say hey to my nieces real quick in a little bit here. Oh, a teleport trap. What? Um, they, they added new traps, I guess. I'd rather run into that than a poison trap, to be honest. So let me take a look here. Oh, there's an enemy around. I'm going to use life sense to try to figure out where he is. No, that's Siren. Yeah. Damn it. Where are you? No, he's... I don't see him. I guess he ran off. Oh, there's one. I'm gonna punch it. With my mind. Hmm. Let me see here. I, I assume the... Oh, there's an enemy back here. Where are you going? Oh, I guess it's trying to find a way around. There you are. Crowbar is damaged. Oh, no. <clears throat> oh, my life sense has worn off. So let's advance even further into the bit. Hit him. Nope, wrong room. Doo doo. No, oh, that lock is disabled. I keep forgetting. And next floor. I assume I'm gonna die soon. As I usually do. A nearby teleport trap. Now I wonder... Okay. I, I just want... I'm just trying to figure out if it could have teleported me into an area that I don't know about. Uh, punch you. I wasn't even looking at him. Because I don't care. Let me take a look here. Too bad I can't use my crowbar to help open this. I mean, it would make sense, but... Yeah. No, that doesn't help. Oh. <clears throat> there we go, a guaranteed kill on one of them. It is a necessary evil. Ooh, I think I heard a uh Oh no. Stop with the thing aw. Oh. I was seeing an escape to try to stop, but nothing. What is this? A light turret. 
all in your mind. Pow. Oh, nothing. Awesome. Ooh. Hopefully he doesn't come out of it, that room. Better off dead. There are. Now I'm gonna punch you. No, don't do that, you dumb. Oh, are you serious? There. God. Sometimes. Sometimes it's just a face palm at what these characters do. I mean, I know I told them to do it, but... Cool. Instant kill. Should have activated my... My Psy shield before I attack that... The turret. So let's use a crowbar to help repair the kitchen. Kitchen thing. The cooker. Can't be repaired. Damn. I wonder if that's because I failed it, or if, um... Or if I just suck. I mean... Or if it literally can't be repaired because of the game. So let me see here. Uh, raw meat. And as I can see here, uh, to make pugnant meat, that gives me an extra bonus to, um, to, to food. I can combine a raw meat and a scent gland, and I have two of those. So I'm going to combine a raw meat and a scent gland. So that, that would make one. But if I use this little thing here, and then it would do it twice. So there we go. Now it'll use this twice and use the meat twice. And it should make two pugnant meats. Yep. Let's pick both of those up. And cook these final raw meats. And then if we get any Tarka Warp ready, we can combine the two. And yeah, everything will be fantastic. See, it gives it plus 10 food. So I'm going to put that here. Uh, put my electronic scraps there. Pistol ammo. And now we have a nice, neat inventory space. Let's pick up these bindings before we head out. Ooh, what is that thing? Oh, there it is. Shadow Bat. I hate these things. So I'm just gonna shoot it. And hit it with my crowbar. Or, uh... Yeah. Oh, these things actually do just take away Psy randomly. That's interesting. Oh, come on. Don't lock the door. Come on. Yes. Awesome. There were other ways in, but I want the XP. Oh. That's right, this thing over here. <laughs> this is not gonna be a thing that I'm gonna be able to do. No, I didn't think so. Use life sense to try to figure out where, where my enemies are. No? Nothing around here? Oh, there's one. I'm gonna punch him with my mind. Pow. And then hit him with a crowbar. And his arms fell off. Well. Nothing in here? Oh, this is what I'm talking about. The door trap. I don't think he saw the, uh, the punch coming. Quite literally. Got the XP from that. And let's try to figure out what this is. So now when I walk through it and figure out what it is, it uh, every time I hover over, hover my mouse over the diamond, it'll tell me what it is. So the purple diamonds, I mean. So that decreases my health. So don't walk in through doors with purple diamonds, otherwise your health will get taken down, which I should heal up because my health is pretty low. Breathe in, breathe out. Well, that actually healed for quite a bit. Uh, yeah, but yeah. And next time, so like if I die, if, if this character dies, and I start a new game, the purple diamond will probably not be the decrease health one again. Unless if I get unlucky. Uh, there we are. Let's kill him and move on to the next floor. So now we have a strangler and a ghost maker. The ghost maker, I believe, is actually in the game before. So... Let me punch him with my mind. There we go. I should have actually punched this guy. And, uh, yeah, you can see his little tushy. That's kind of amazing. Uh, heal Psy Armor. I'm going to put on Psy Armor. And I'm going to shoot him. There we go. So I leveled up again. Damn ice bats. No, no, stop. There we go. I wanted to level up before I did that. So I'm hungry, actually. I should eat. 
Uh, power and might, as usual. I think this was electronic, so I'm gonna upgrade that. Spent two skill points to get one level, uh, one point in electronics. I don't know if that was the greatest, but I wanted to do it. Uh, let me see. Telekinesis. Um, manifestation. I want to try to get high enough so I can get bread whenever I get hungry. As because most of the time I just end up dying from the crippling, crippling like, uh. I don't know. The crippling effects of hunger. Let me eat some of this pugnant meat that I had before. That I got before. Put this meat back there. And eat that. And, yeah. There we go. Got some nice grubs. Mmm. Sounds tasty. God. Who is this guy? Talk with the ancient statue. That's a statue? Oh, that's Barak. Well, how was your sleep? Very good. Thank you for asking. Um, did you say something? No, you couldn't have. Your lips are sewn shut. Who are you? Oh, cool. So it has like multiple uh, dialogue things. That's pretty neat. Right. Oh my God, there's a lot of zombies outside. Uh, don't yeah, well. kill us all. What's on the roof? Oh, it's cross. Hyper rifle. Oh, really? You're using up the ammo to kill random zombies? No, I'm using it up to miss random zombies. Oh my I god.